Hi guys. Well, it is a pleasantly cool rainy day for planet nibbling here in the end times. Good lord as we uh continue <coughs> being a <coughs> what am I a a doomer Florida real estate investor. Yep. Ah. Uh, so this is how you make money being a Doomer Florida real estate investor. Uh, I will have to uh, do a video uh, about the difference between planet nibbling, which is what I am doing, and planet eating, which is what those sons of bitches next to me did with that lot. Uh, the old man coming limping back from work like Brett back from the back to Terra from the Civil War. I am all to terror, I guess, instead of terror. Ah, oh, man. So maybe I can actually find some dude with cancer to come up here and help me work tomorrow. So anyway, this is, uh, well, you see how far from my property. This is the Gothi State Forest, I believe. This is called Gas Line Road. Gas Line Road. That is Gas Line Road. I think we all know what that means. So anyway, this is... I just want you guys to get an idea of what the old Florida looks like. Uh, this is what Florida looked like, I don't know, for whenever Florida came out of the ocean until about a hundred years ago. Although I'm sure a lot of the big ass trees, of course, you don't see in this picture anymore. But, uh, it is a long way, a long way to Disney World from here. There's nothing but black bears and wild hogs and bobcats and uh, snakes and lions and tigers and bears. Uh, I've been uh, thinking about this doomer chick that I saw on pile of fish last night you know bitching about all these goddamn planet eaters come into Florida and uh, running the wildlife out. At least the wildlife that I ran out of my place, which I understand was a family of foxes. Uh, they didn't have to go far. Uh, I don't know how many thousands and thousands of acres this is back here this public land I'm not a hundred percent sure if they're still thinking about ramming a some sort of freeway or probably tollway through the middle of this beautiful stretch of woodlands which of course would double my real estate values in one day if they approved a damn freeway through here to keep the clueless morons from uh, on a, keep them moving through uh, can't you just see this being a a major divided highway freeway oh god but you know who am I to talk uh, I am taking full advantage 
of clueless morons moving to Florida uh, and having this four houses down from me is not going to hurt the sale of this place. So, uh, this is my, this is my drive back from work every afternoon. <laughs> and I, people think of Florida, think of bumper to bumper traffic going on for mile after mile after mile sitting in hellacious traffic with 19 traffic lights and what is it in Lakeland I'm pretty sure I remember 19 traffic lights in seven miles uh, I do what do I have how many traffic lights do I have on this I've got I've got like one and a half I have one traffic light you know where I make a right turn but actually I can avoid that and then I have one of these pedestrian lights so I can actually go uh, all the way from Inglis to Dunellen uh, without a traffic light and uh, the only thing I might have to stop for is a bear jumping in front of the truck. But yep, that's what Florida's turning into. It's, you know, city right up, right up to the borders of public land. Fortunately, it, there's actually quite a bit of public land in Florida there's always room for more they need to save every acre that they can and stop building toll roads through the piney woods so uh, now starting here <clears throat> I'm 99% sure that uh, all through here that these trees are planted. Uh, now this is, that was a deer, I think, was that a deer or what was that? Uh, I, I honestly don't know if Florida is like New York, you know, like New York on the, in the state forest, it is perfectly legal for these planted eaters to, in New York to go on to state public land and and log it and uh, so the, these pine forests uh, another well we're back now this is they call this the 10 mile river although I don't see much don't see much water in the 10 mile there's the 10 mile river uh, coming out of two uh, big conduits, so I guess they get three conduits. Might be able to get my kayak down there. So, the Ten Mile River. Uh, <laughs> I'm assuming that is quite full of otters and all sorts of creepy crawlers and water moccasins and the usual but anyway so these once we get out of the riparian corridor of the 10 mile river I uh, I'm pretty sure these pine trees are planted again I don't know if these are going to be harvested or not, I do know they come through every couple of years and burn this, all of this uh, pine trees and palmettos 
uh, there's some uh, some myth about that like these goddamn saw palmettos are some sort of endangered species in Florida. I, I assure you the saw palmetto is anything but endangered. And uh, so they come in here and torch this. You can you can still see the black. I'm, yeah, they burned. They they burned. So this was two years ago when I was down here. They were burning this. So two years ago, this forest was burned to the ground, and you see how these uh, these tiny, spindly little pines they did not die in in those fires you can see the black going you know 20 30 feet up the trunks uh, there's way 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 too many uh, trees in here even with the controlled burns and uh, so all right what is this what is it Sandra, it's a wild pig uh, there's a big Look at the pigs. You get those pigs like that. You get those pigs like that. You need to go get that wild pig like that. So I'm going to tell you a story uh, about your Aunt Lucy. Uh, this is a... a uh, you get that piggy like that. Yeah, you, you say you go get those pigs like that. And so what was that? That's a wild hog like that. And that things are tearing up everything like that. You need to go get the piggy like that. You know that. You need to go get that pig. I better grab you by the tail like that. You're on both sides of the road. We got pigs to the right of us, pigs to the left of us like that. So anyway, it was right within one mile of here. I've told this story before, but I'm going to tell it again. It was within one mile of here. This would have been in 1997. I was uh, driving back on these very roads. I don't know, I don't think it was this, but right here on one of these roads, uh, here in the Goth or Gothi State Forest uh, with Lucinda Alligator Bait. Lucinda Alligator Bait was my, uh, she was a Brittany Spaniel. And I think uh, Lucy weighed about 40 pounds, and she was a terror, to put it mildly. So we, uh, I wasn't in the car. We, we had stopped the car and to take a, you know, just to take a stroll down uh, one of these side roads. There's all of these uh, little jeep trails off to the side you know like like this one here so we it's like we parked here and we start down this jeep trail and a mother hog with a like eight little babies cross the road like just happened in front of sancho and so this was a mother wild hog with eight babies. If you had to, you know, think of the last thing you want to uh, encounter is a mother hog with eight babies. So of course Lucy was was ten steps in front of me. So she saw though that hog with those little babies. But they were about the size of well, they were actually smaller than Sancho. So these little baby pigs. I'm guessing probably weighed about 10 pounds and there were like eight of them in a line and uh, so Lucy takes off like a fucking rocket uh, after this this uh, mother hog and, and her babies and you know a, a mother wild hog protecting her babies you know, a pit bull, uh, it d doesn't want to fuck with that. So here's my goddamn little uh, Brittany Spaniel taking off after, I mean, you, you heard Sancho, exactly what she sounded like, uh, yapping at the top of her lungs. The damn pigs go flying, crashing through the damn woods with that 
idiot fucking dog of mine uh, running right after them uh, so she could be disemboweled uh, by this mother hog, uh, you know, protecting her baby. So I'm, I'm, you know, it's like a fly went by where, where the pigs go by and then the dog goes by and then I'm chasing the fucking dog. Uh, the dog is barking. I'm screaming at the top of my goddamn lungs, going after the dog, going after the pig uh we're, we're just crashing through woods like this i you know i had no fucking compass or machete i mean just flying through the, these fucking woods as, as fast as we can and then uh up ahead i don't know uh, maybe a hundred yards uh all of a sudden i i hear all of this hullabaloo I mean, this uh, this squealing, screaming, the dog yelping, going fucking batshit crazy. Uh, there's obviously uh, I'm listening to uh, to uh, Lucy being disemboweled by this mother pig, and, and and I'm thinking, God damn it, my goddamn dog j just got killed. Uh, by by a fucking wild hog. I mean, it happens all the time. Uh, I mean, even even these badass hog dogs, these these oversized uh, pit bulls. I think they're called something like what are they called? Uh, American bullies or what? Anyway, all of these fucking hog dogs are uh, you know have scars all over them. Well. Lucy was no hog dog, so I just assume, and then, then there's all of this squealing and stuff, and then just this total silence, but I could hear this heavy <sighs> uh, panting through the woods, and, I, and I'm beating my way through the woods, and I come out, and there's this, uh, well, it's not a pond, it's more like a puddle, like a, like a giant puddle. Uh, where the, you know, these yahoos on their four-wheel drives have, uh, you know, made a wide spot out in the woods and probably about four inches of water and Lucy is lying in that middle of that puddle just going, <laughs> I mean, her tongue uh, hanging out and, and I run, and I see red on her, and I run up, and the whole front of her is covered with blood, uh, and she's lying in the water, and there's blood dripping off of her in, 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 into the fucking water, and but you know her belly and her legs are hidden in the in, in the damn water, so all I see is her hyperventilating uh, with, with this blood. Uh, all over and I say motherfucker I'm gonna pick this dog up and it's gonna be like that scene in Catch-22 remember you know where he uh, tries to pick the guy up and his goddamn intestines fall out uh, all over the fucking ground so I thought I was gonna be dealing uh, with my dog's fucking guts so I I pick her up out of the water and there doesn't seem to be a scratch on her. And I'm going, what the fuck? And so she's getting her breath back. So I set her in the water and I, and I gave her a complete bath uh, in, the, in, in the water, in the puddle. There was not one scratch on that goddamn dog. Not a scratch. So the blood was from uh, one of the baby pigs that uh, I don't know if she mortally wounded the thing or not with the, with the noise it was making. Uh, I, I have no clue why that mother hog uh, didn't kill that dog. Uh, only thing I can figure is, is that the mother hog heard me yelling and knew that I was right behind and then she probably assumed that I had a gun. So my guess is to save her other 
seven babies or whatever she just let the uh the eighth one die i i didn't find a body or anything and uh I anyway i mean i felt kind of bad about it but the, the these fucking wild hogs man i mean they do a lot of damage uh i mean they are a serious uh serious uh exotic invasive species that uh between the wild hogs and the uh and the fucking fire ants uh you know they've pretty much annihilated like any ground nesting bird like you know bob white quail and whatnot uh they just uh i i, I mean they are the the planet eaters of the of the invasive species world. All right, little dog. It was right up there is where, right up there is where that happened with those hogs. But you saw Sancho. Uh, if uh, if Sancho, he would have been gone, just like he was uh, with with that goddamn. The window is closed now, little dog. Uh, bonky, bonky your head on the closed window. Uh, so Sancho, just then, if we had been walking just then, instead of in the truck, I'm surprised he didn't go out the damn window, he would have done the exact same thing as uh, Lucy. Sancho weighs 12 goddamn pounds. Uh, there were like six of those pigs that I just saw, probably weighed 100. He would have gone right after those goddamn things and attacked them, and Sancho would be dead right now. I would no longer have a dog. I guarantee you that a herd of uh, six or seven pigs uh, would have this little dog's guts all over the goddamn place. And they would probably enjoy snacking on him for dinner. Just one more thing I uh, to eat my dog down here in Florida. Good fucking God, how many things down here do I have to worry about killing this dog? Uh, anyway, that's my wild peak story. Well, someday I will retell the uh, great peccary adventure in Costa Rica, the wildest uh, wildlife adventure of my entire life. I've told it before, but again, I'm just getting to be a, a boring, broken tooth, uh, old fart telling old stories about his... Uh, out his youth, so we'll get back to the peccary pandemonium some other time. So you see, uh, you're getting an idea of how uh, overdeveloped Florida is with all of these strip malls and condos and golf courses and uh, amusement parks. Uh, I highly suggest you get out there and come enjoy the old Florida while you can still find it. <laughs> My gosh.